Good morning, middle school. Did you miss us? Because we sure missed you. It's our second week back fully in person. And it's the first episode of for over a year. Shout out to all my fellow May birthdays. Now on to student government announcements. Thank you, Allie and Baker. I am here in the Oval Office delivering student government announcements. So, during the week of May 17th, there is a spirit week. Uh, on Monday, the 17th, it's pajama day. Tuesday, the 18th, is crazy attire day. Wear mismatched clothing or hair. Wednesday, the 19th, is beach day. Wear beach clothing. Thursday, the 20th, is case spirit day. Wear case attire. And Friday, the 21st, is career day. Dress up in what you would wear for your career when you grow up. As you all know, there are elections. You guys have already discussed with Mr. Williamson if you wanted to run for an officer position. On the 21st, the speeches are due and they have to be sent to Mr. Williamson. And on the 28th is the election day. Thank you so much and we forever. Thank you, student gov. Next on to returning to campus. What's your name? Daniel. All right. So Daniel, what do you think about everybody coming back in person? Um, well, sometimes it's a little stressful because everybody's back and, you know, some, it, we've uh, measured down the social distancing protocols to three feet instead of six, but it's also great to be full-time back in school because then instead of asynchronous days, we can get, everybody can be back and getting the right education that they need. Okay, that's cool. So, um, would you say you've been enjoying this everybody coming in so far yeah so far so far it has been pretty great because I get to see um, uh, the my other classmates that I haven't seen in a long time probably well even a year now um, some of them and yeah it's pretty cool to see everybody okay so, hi. what's your name uh, my name is miles hi so what do you think about um, everybody going in person well, I think it was a good decision because, I mean, we get to see all our friends. Um, I think Case is doing a very good job keeping us safe, and yeah, I feel, yeah, happy. It's cool. That was great. Next on to graduation news. This year, our 8th grade will be having an in-person graduation at the new campus. Wow. The graduation will be from 6 to 8 on June 9th with full cap and gowns and diplomas. On the logistics side of things, each graduate can bring up to six guests, and each guest will be isolated in pods six feet apart from other guests. Next, for all of you guys performing, well, there will be <laughs> four to five student musical performances, as well as a speech from Mr. Bissell and Miss Powell. Just a side note, anybody who's doing musical performances, particularly singing, will be 12 feet away from everyone else. The graduation will run for about 80 minutes. We're not exactly sure whether it'll be more or less, but you can expect it to run for that time. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> How do you feel about our 8th grade class having a graduation in person this year? I guess I'm happy, but also kind of sad because I wanted to get away with not having to go to graduation. This year. Oh, my oh my god, I'm so excited! I am excited to wear a dress. <laughs> I'm not excited, but I have a pretty cool outfit planned out. Green has four legs and could kill you if it fell out of a tree. What? A pool table. All right, uh, next on to new campus. Hey, Case Middle School. I'm standing at the 19th Avenue campus. And this grass, this is more grass than there is, I think, in all of Hayes Valley and the Civic Center combined. This is where our eighth graders will be graduating in just a few weeks. Check it out. I'm in the art studio. This is a kiln. And this here, that's also a kiln. Two kilns. Check this art studio out. So, Ms. Womack Freeman, this is your dance studio. This beautiful structure behind me, you, you may be mistaking it for the Chase Center. In fact, it's the new Case Gymnasium. Outdoor lunch, anybody? No problem at Case's new campus. And look at all these tables. 
you won't even have to sit on the ground anymore. I'm not sure about Coach Eddie's tennis game, but he'll probably need to brush up to teach PE classes in tennis. Coming back is Teacher Bio. Hello, I am Lola. Today I'm going to be interviewing Julie. Julie, what did you do before you came to work at Case? Uh, immediately before I came to work at Case, I worked as a produce buyer where I um, basically coordinated with different farmers to bring like fresh wow. local food into a fancy grocery store in Portland, Oregon. It was a weird job. <laughs> <laughs> nice! What made you want to come work at Case? Um, my two passions in life are agriculture, so like food and farming, and, um, and then China. And oh. for a long time I was able to combine those two, but when I moved back to the U.S. I kind of had to choose one or the other, and I'd been working in like food and farming for a long time, and I wanted to get back to China stuff. Anything cool you'd like to share with the audience? <laughs> Do you know anything cool about me? I know that you were a farmer. <laughs> yeah, I was a farmer for a while in the US and I also worked with farmers in China. And don't worry, I also worked as like a study abroad coordinator in China for a long time. So I am qualified for this job. And me. Thank you very much. Were you sick of those big, amazing desks with those spinny chairs, but tired of these new chairs? Because if you want to turn right, you walk into a bar? Yeah! Well, well, fear not! For a limited time only, you can get the all-new floor! Wow, so awesome! All-new floor, you can sit in any way that suits you, whether it's sitting with your legs out, crisscross, or even just sitting in the ball and rolling around. The floor is flexible and can suit your needs. The floor also allows you to lay down, somersault, or even do rug angels. Yeah. Missing those chairs? Don't fret. They are currently at our Mercy High School, our soon to be home. We will get those chairs back in about two years when we move there. Yay! So don't be that weirdo and get your rug today. Only $10 per square inch. Call 1-800-GET-RUGS. Again, that's 1-800-GET-RUGS. Yeah! Hi everyone, this is Claire Sonsuk from the 7th Pink Cohort. Today I'll be interviewing Mr. Plant who came this year. He's a science teacher for 7th and 8th grade. So the first question is what did you do before you came to Case? All right, well, good to be here. Uh, so before Case, um, I've, worn, I've tried a lot of things. I guess I'm trying to find what was like my, what, what job I really want to do uh, for, in, in my life. So I tried, I did do some scientific research, tried that for a little bit. So I got to uh, go to Costa Rica, live on the beach for a year, and uh, study sea turtles. Um, and I, I like that, I like that. It did get a little lonely out there being so far away from civilization. Um, so, and I also did some uh, work in, I worked in Washington DC where I was uh, trying, was, trying to be more uh, in environmental advocacy, so actually how can we protect uh, marine life, sea turtles, but from a policy standpoint. Um, and then after that I was like, okay, it's still not quite right. And that's what led me to, uh, got, I went back, got my master's at Duke, and uh, got into sustainability. And so we did, uh, you know, carbon footprint and climate action plans for cities and counties. And uh, so I tried that, but ultimately I came back to teaching and education, because that's what I enjoy the most. So that's why I am here right now um, at Case, because I, I love education, I love working uh, with young folks like yourself. Great, thanks. We really enjoy having you at Case. All right, thank you. Why did the musical group bounce? Because it was a rubber band. Uh, <laughs> next, um, coming up next is Would You Rather? Seventh grade or eighth grade? <laughs> well, this is the moment in the year. If you asked me last year, I would have said eighth grade. But now, while well, I'm letting, because now as you guys are leaving the nest, my focus is definitely seventh grade to so seventh grade. I mean, you gave me no context for that question. Would you rather? 
have there, only be able to talk to one person of your choosing, or only be able to talk to people that you don't like? Neither. <laughs> so you'd rather talk to talk nobody? Talk to no one. <laughs> Would you rather be a squid for a day, or a rabbit for a day? I think a rabbit, probably, because then I could run away from my enemies. Okay. Next. Would you rather burp fire or, or fart, fart lightning? <laughs> burp fire. Really? Why? Why? So I can kill my enemies. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> really so interesting. So that way when you fart lightning, you won't have a hole in your pants, obviously. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so question for Kaya. Would you rather have two sh uh, a shirt two sizes too big or a shirt uh, one size too small? Oh yeah. If that makes any sense. I didn't write <laughs> Who wrote that? Who wrote that? That's an awful was question. On the that was a bad question. Answer one. it. Hope you liked it. The next episode will have the eighth grade send off. Goodbye. This year our eighth grade graduation will be in person. Yeah. Yes it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Wow. Our graduation what is, is in person. Saying? What am I supposed to be saying? Hey! I hope you guys had an amazing February break. This guys, episode... you completely mess it up. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh about to see is going to be great. Shout out to all those March birthdays because apparently March is the best. <clears throat> Not true. No! 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 Have a great rest of the week.